Another scientific field that's under exploration worldwide is nanotechnology, the science of building machines at a subatomic level. This science has the potential to change a country's economy and to improve standards of living. Nanotechnology is um, the ability to engineer systems uh, with defined stru structure and function in a nanometer scale or on nanometer scale. Uh, when I say nanometer scale, that means um, size is below 100 nanometer mostly. And, um, and when I say defined a structure and function, uh, that means that the, the properties of materials changes with their size. So a bulk material which have a structure in the above microns or millimeters, they, have, they show different properties compared to the materials with the components or um, structures below uh, 100 nanometers. The impact of nanotechnology could be as profound as information technology, which has revolutionized the way the world functions over the past two decades. Nanotech, for short, has a wide range of applications. Medicine, electronics, biomaterials, and energy production can all benefit from the science. Iran, too, has recognized the significance of nanotechnology. The global race is now on to develop the technology, and Iran has entered that race. In the Middle East, Iran holds first place for nanotechnology. Iranian scientists hope the Islamic Republic will become one of the world's top 10 nanotech countries by 2015. And of course, the ultimate goal is financial advancement. Nanotechnology can also make a difference in the processing of oil and gas. Utilizing this science can help produce new products that will boost revenues by giving them added value. At Iran's National Oil Company's Nanotechnology Research Center, we met with Ali Murad Rashidi. He said that over the past five years, nine major research projects have been conducted to produce Western technology domestically. توی این حوزه الان صاحب پنج تکنولوژی هست. یکی از این تکنولوژی که هم تو که نامورد تکنولوژی تولید انبوه نانولوله های کربونی هست. یه تکنولوژی دیگه که دست پیدا کردیم تکنولوژی استفاده از نانو برای تبدیل نفت سنگین به سبک بوده یکی دیگه از تکنولوژی که پجویشگاه دیولوده تکنولوژی ساخت نانو کاتالیست برای تبدیل گاز تو لیکود یا گاز به فراورده های با ارزش بوده یه تکنولوژی که دیگه پجویشگاه توسط فرمولاسیون سیمان فوق سبک هفاری بوده که هم خدمتون گفتن توی ده حلقه چا در جنوب هم تست شده و با موفقیت انجام شده یه تکنولوژی دیگه تکنولوژی تولید اکسیدهای فلزی نانو ساختار بوده که اینم به صنعتی رسیده و آماده واگذاری به بخش سرمایه گذار هست Carbon nanotubes are one of the most important products manufactured at the INOC. These are used in chemical processes that make new products from oil and gas. Producing nanocatalysts is another of the center's major achievements. Iran has internationally registered the patents for these products. فرآیند ابداع ما به این صورت که نانوکاتالیست ابتدا تو فرآیند تولید میشه و بعد گاز روی اون دیکامپوز میشه و نانولوله ها رشد داده میشن و بعدش خالص سازی انجام میشه جدا سازی و بعد کاتالیست برمیگرده به سیستم یعنی ویژگی دیگه این فرایند اون ابداعی اون اینه که کاتالیست اونم به سیستم برمیگرده که یک فرآیند کاملا پیوسته است و این فرایند در قالب 6 پتنت اروپایی و آمریکایی به ثبت رسیده و تکنولوژیش این دمو پلنتگی میگم ظرفیتش 100 کیلوگرم در روز هست به صورت پیوسته از کربونات که مرحله بعدش اشل صنعتیش 25 کیلوگرم در ساعت هست یه چیزی نزدیک یه تن در روز از این محصول با ارزش میشه تولید کرد. Iran took its first nanotech step in 2001. A study committee for nanotechnology began its activities and two years later Iran's Nanotechnology Initiative Council or the INIC was established. At the moment, there are 3,700 nanotechnologists in Iran and 15 universities which admit students applying for master degrees in the field. Another five universities offer a PhD in the science. We have succeeded to produce monodispersed uh, silica nanoparticles, iron oxide nanoparticles, um, gold nanoparticles. Also, we have been able to functionalize these nanoparticles and um, then we, we succeeded to, 
to synthesize nanocomposites nanocomposite, based on these nanoparticles. And um, in coming, um, um, very soon, we will um, start applications of these, these nanoparticles for, uh, body, uh, for those purposes that, that I talked about, for gene transferring or for uh, use them for, uh, by, as bioanalytical tools. The government is trying to pave the way for a more functional private sector and boost wealth production in the society. To do this, new strategies have been adopted, obstacles removed and markets created. To get the public involved and increase awareness, Iran holds public education exhibitions, supports the publication of educational books, trains mass media experts, publishes news on nanotechnology in journals and on websites, and holds annual international festivals. We visited one of these private sector companies to find out just how well they are operating and what products they are manufacturing. The Pars Nano Company is making NanoSid, which has received international patents in countries like the US and France, among others. محصول نانوسید خب کاربرد نقره هستش که تونستیم به ذرات نانو تبدیل کنیم بیس اصلی خود سیلور بحث آنتی باکتریال این محصول هست که میتونه تو هر حوزه ای که ورود پیدا کنه تاثیرات آنتی باکتریالش رو نشون بده تو حوزه های مختلف نساجی صنعت مواد غذایی بهداشت عمومی ضد عفونی تصفیه آب ها و حوزه های پهناوری هستش که این عرصه آنتی باکتریال بودن این سیلور میتونه تاثیر به سزایی توی افزایش کیفی محصولات کشاورزی داشته باشه تو بحث نگهداری مواد غذایی داشته باشه خب طیف های فوق العاده گسترده ای رو بحث نانو سیلور هست و بحث های پزشکی هم از جمله کنترل سلول های سرطانی هستش و بیماری هایی که تقریبا توی طرح برنامه هامون هستش که اینا رو انشالله بتونیم به سر انجام برسیم